Hey, what's up everybody? It's Manmaker here from Raz Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about block data. So what is block data, you may ask? Well, for example, if I have a chest here, and uh, if I take a, some diamond boots and put them in there, the current block data of this chest would be chest, no name, just the name, chest, <laughs> and then slot 26 boots, because there is uh, there are boots in slot 26. So what block data is, is it's pretty much the data of the block not what the block is itself. So if the block is a, a chest for example and uh, it has um, an item in the first slot which is a wooden sword and then uh, uh, the furnace has an item in the first slot both of the block data are the same because uh, block data is not specific to any block it is just uh, it is just a thing. So I'll show you what I mean if you didn't quite get that because that wasn't really understandable. So what you can do with the block data command is you can actually change the block data, the block's current data. So for example, if we have a chest here, which is our um, main demonstration, a chest here, we can open it and you can see it's a normal chest. There is nothing altered with it. There is nothing there. But as soon as we activate the command, it will change that chest into into our new chest which is a secret chest as you can see secret chest is lock and uh, we can use our key and it uh, doesn't work wrong key we can only use our diamond key to open the chest and there we go we have 64 diamonds and a god sword sword of the gods so um, the block data has been changed from the original chest to the new chests and as you can see even the name has changed to secret chest so we can put that back now and say we break it get rid of the items and we grab a furnace and we use the block data command what has changed is it's still locked you still need the diamond key it is still changed secret chest but however since there is no slot 26 the only slot that has changed is the god sword slot so yeah that is a little example of how block data works uh, it can be used for many different um, you know type of blocks it can be used to name enchanting tables if I show you here however it does not lock enchanting tables it can only name enchanting tables but and it cannot place items um, but it does not work for crafting tables so it can work for pretty much any um, interactive type of block there is going to be a full list in the description of what it works with um, but yeah, so I'll, sh I'll give you a rundown of this command. So what it is doing is it's changing the block data of the block above it to have a custom name, which is secret chest, a lock, so it doesn't matter what item it is, but if the item is named diamond key, it can open this chest, and then it will have the item contents. So in slot zero, which is the first slot, it will have a uh, diamond sword, um, we have a display name, god sword, and the law sword of, for the gods, and then the enchantment, so 16 level 5, which is sharpness 5, and then uh, in slot 26, we have 64 diamonds. So there we go, if we, um, for another example, if we even get a trap chest, uh, we can um, we can change the chest there, so there we go, trap chest, and uh, pretty cool since uh, the trap chest is obviously already acting, activating the um, command block as soon as it opens, it will already be activated. So uh, that's, uh, that's a pretty cool one there. So yeah, a lot of blocks can be changed. So, yep. So that is our first example of block data. Now we've also created quite more examples. We've created two here and three over there. So let's just start with these ones. So our first example is very useful for servers, uh, but in particular PvP servers and servers where you uh, need to refill your items. So in here we have a refill chest with unlimited soup. So we can go ahead and grab as much soup as we want. So this is mainly focused for our uh, kit pvp servers where you need soup uh, it could also work with potions and any item but we just need a lot of it now say we accidentally grab too much we can just go over to our disposal chest here and we can uh, go ahead and get rid of it so what the disposal chest does is it gets rid of all the items in every tick or so and um, yeah so what is happening here you may ask there is a clock going off obviously to these two uh, command blocks what the first one does if we just press done and it will show the command is it's constantly setting every tick to changing the block data so it has a custom name of refill chest and every single slot has mushroom soup so every single time the um, clock goes off I will be getting soup now for this one however this is quite different uh, it's pretty much the same concept in which it's got a custom name and custom items but the only slot that is changed in this one is slot zero and we're going to change slot zero to um, air now if there wasn't 
if we haven't set it so there is no, if we've set it so there is no slots, it's only changing changing the uh, name of the chest. It wouldn't actually, um, you know, do anything too much because uh, it's not affecting the items at all. Now, for example, if uh, if we copy this command here and um, we make it so, so with a little bit of alternations, I've actually made it so uh, you get a random chance of opening either recycle or bin. Uh, as you can see there, so you can change it um, pretty much any way you want. Um, chests, remember, are limited only locks, name changes, and item slots. So there we go. But uh, that is not all you can do with it. If we go ahead and grab some items from here, we have two golden chest plates and a diamond chest plate. Interesting. And we walk over, you can see three machines. We have an advanced salvager, a basic salvager, and uh, this one over here. So what the salvagers do, the advanced salvager, if we go ahead, you can see there's uh, barriers here, so that must mean we put it in the first slot. Uh, we get given back our original um, material. Now this uh, design and machine was created for a mini game that I'm making, a um, or, or a map I suppose, a puzzle map that I'm making. And uh, it's also good for, you know, some servers and all of that, but if we just go ahead and try it again, uh, we can put our golden chest plate in there and we'll get given back their raw material. Now if we use the basic salvager, it's pretty much the same, except right. so we'll go ahead and put this gold chest plate in here, and it actually changes the um, the dropper here to have our items, so it doesn't give it to us, it just changes it. And then we have this one here, which is salvager in the base of a furnace. Um, so how are these made? Pretty basic. Um, there's actually a test for block command that can test for block data, so if it, um, if the block data is correct, for example, this one, and it tests that there is a golden chest plate in the middle, it will replace that block data with the required amount of gold, and it will also play an anvil use sound. Um, and then since the and then it won't uh, go off anymore, considering because it won't be able to test that there is a golden chest plate in the middle until another golden chest plate is placed. So if I just grab a few more golden chest plates for you guys to see. Uh, it needs to be dead in the middle. There we go, we can get them, we can get them, and then we can get that, and it's all given to us. So that's how that one works. That one's similar, and then this one's obviously similar. So uh, those are just some examples of what you can do with block data. It's one of my favorite commands, and I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to check the description for other uh, commands to do with block data, and I'll see you in my next tutorial video.